Hey guys, it is uh, Tuesday, July July the 11th, 2023, and um, it's been another tough night for me thus far. I got the draw on liquidity incorrect. I thought we were going to go lower immediately, and we drew up to um, a one-hour SIBI into a dealing, dealing range premium, um, kind of a pre-London Judas swing, and now I'm working on the micro NASDAQ and um, so I immediately went to ICT's video library and um, this is probably one of the absolute hardest videos for me to watch uh, because it describes me perfectly. Um, I had multiple trades tonight that were in deep profit that I did not allow to get stopped out break even or take any parcels off. Um, so I, I knew I know that I'm doing something wrong with my risk management. Um, the market has been in now two days of consolidation profile and pretty illiquid, like difficult market conditions, I would say, or at least difficult for me. Um, and so I. I'm allowing, I mean, I don't think that at this point I really am macho or anything or anything like that. I, I definitely do get too stubborn still. Um, so exactly what he says in this video about not being able to take trades off that you know are just not going to work out. It's just not doing what you think it should do at the time that it should do it. Not putting the stop at break even when it, you know it needs to go to break even is uh yeah man it's tough um so if you're kind of in the position that I'm at where you have you know PD arrays you know draws on liquidity I mean you don't know like okay you know you're just you're getting better at them right I'm not afraid to enter a trade but my risk management right now is just terrible my money management is terrible and I know that and so this uh, ICT Twitter space has been re hitting me really hard because uh, it's me um, I don't know if Michael watches my stuff or not he probably doesn't even remember this one but he literally describes where I'm at right now to an absolute minute detail like it is me I'm, I'm right there at the point where I'm pretty familiar with his work I'm familiar with the PD race but sometimes especially in these like dense ranges consolidation day profiles I'm getting the draw on, on liquidity wrong um, I'm not using my break-even stops enough um, I'm not allowing my stops to be hit I'm moving the fucking stop um, and I'm not moving the stops to break even when they need to be moved to break even or small profit. And uh, I would be, I, I'm just not preserving capital enough. Um, when, when I, guys, when I am on, see, some of y'all are not getting me here. I'm sorry, my video is on and I'm looking in the dark. I'll turn it off. Um, guys, y'all don't understand. I mean, y'all watch my videos some of y'all y'all know that when I'm on I'm really on like max profit 3600 fake dollars like nothing but Monday's trading and Tuesday's trading this absolute grind fest of hanging there and hanging there and high high resistance liquidity run uh, high, high resistance liquidity runs he's absolutely right in this video guys you got to go watch this if you are getting to the point where you're feeling pretty good with your ICT trading, but it's not really where you need it to be, this is this is what you have to go watch. It's going to hit you like a freaking ton of bricks. And it's, man, these high resistance liquidity runs will absolutely take out your soul. If you ever want to advance, so to speak, to a level of mastery of day trading using ICT's concepts, You've got to employ the break-even stop. You've got to let your stops be hit. You must accept repeated losses. You must res 
accept that that um, you, the ego has to go away, and, and it's going to take a long time, guys. It's taken me a lot of work, and you must preserve capital at all costs. You must preserve capital, and that means you've got to learn to be really damn comfortable with break even. Really damn comfortable with break even. Like when you're not feeling the market, the best thing that you can do is not get frustrated, not get macho, whatever. The best thing that you can do when the market is, is in these high resistance liquidity runs or it's just not doing what you expect it or anticipate that it should do at the time that you expect it to do it, you got to preserve capital, guys. I've not been using my break-even stops enough. Um, I'm not preserving capital enough. It's um, probably like one of the last pieces of the puzzle if I'm ever going to get there. I've got to start preserving capital. Um, so this is the one that I recommend to go watch. Um, all right. Guys, you have to preserve capital. You cannot allow these positions to go run in your favor, run back up to break even, run at a drawdown, and then run back in your favor. No. Like, the, the market moves in your favor. You've got to be planning on putting that, that stop break even or close to break even very quickly. Um, you can all guys, there's always going to be another PD array. There's always going to be another draw on liquidity. It's probably going to be the same draw on liquidity that you had originally. It just didn't go there yet. Um, you have to preserve capital. Uh, and so sometimes if the market is just not doing what you expect it to do, uh, and I'm a very stubborn guy, and I do not like having an anticipation of what the market is going to do and it doesn't go there uh, when I expect it to. But but I don't control the market. High frequency trading algorithms do. And they do what they want. And I'm not preserving capital. I'm just not. Uh, I'm able to run up I'm able to run up days of max profit thirty six hundred dollars and then max max loss three thousand dollars. And the difference in these days is when the market is in sort of beginner's mode or it's you know it's it's running nice and clean these low resistance liquidity runs I'm on it I'm on it like wet on rice but when the market's in these high resistance liquidity runs I'm not preserving capital uh, I'm not taking parcels I'm I'm thinking that the market is going to go further than it really will at, at certain times and guys you just I know I have to do this. You've got to preserve capital. You've got to use break-even stops when the market goes in your favor. You've got to pretty quickly put in that break-even stop. You've got to take risk off if it's running against you, even though it's going to hurt. Um, you can always re-enter the market, guys. You can always instantly re-enter the market. Your broker's not going to stop you. It's only you fighting against yourself. Um, pay the commissions. Take preserve capital. Move that stop to break-even two ticks, three ticks, whatever, in profit. Accept the fact, submit to the fact that sometimes you're going to take a lot of break-even, guys. you got to get really, really comfortable with break-even. you got to get comfortable with break-even and um, taking parcels and, and preserving capital. And uh, this is the Twitter space that I recommend to go watch. Bye.